Oh, hello there. Didn't see you come in. Please take a seat. <laughs> Welcome to my mansion. It's either a place of romance or a place you would see in a murder mystery. So you might get murdered. I don't exactly know how I came to designing my room like this. It kind of just fell into it. But uh, yeah, here we are. <laughs> I thought I would check in with you once again to show you what I've been working on and the island because you guys seem to enjoy the last video. And with that in mind, I do want to remind people that this is like day eight or nine, something like that. So if you are new or just recently got your copy or something, there might be stuff in this that you will, uh, you know, consider spoilery. So, I mean, <laughs> as much as you can spoil something like Animal Crossing, there are people out there that don't want to, you know, see what you can get in the future, let's say. But, yeah, I'm going to show you around. Although, back, I don't know why I wanted to show you back here, because this is purely function over fashion. I ooh, don't, ooh, almost like the velvet room of turnips. <laughs> Either way. Um, yeah, welcome back to my island. I have started mostly working on the things that I told you I was planning last time. So, like, sectioning off areas of the island to be certain things. So now we have this more, the, the area I'm in currently, more as the residential area. Now, things to note is that uh, there might be trees kind of in the way of things and in oddly placed areas. And that's because obviously I've been moving them around for stuff and also I can't control where money trees go. <laughs> but we'll start off with the residential areas. I actually complained last time that Candy was going to join and I uh, retract that. They are, they are lovely. They are precious and I, they are very brutal sometimes. Brutally honest with me. <laughs> Here is uh, the last two houses, and I've done up a little bit. Obviously, I've added a fence. I've added some more, like, pieces. I feel like one of the things I love the uh, idea of doing, especially now that I can place items outside, is I like a natural-looking area, like a place that is almost kind of believable. When it comes to stuff, especially like Minecraft houses, symmetry is obviously, is is honestly, rather, something that I go for a lot because symmetry just looks nice in something like this, you know, or something like that. Whereas this, I feel like, I don't know, there's something nice about that kind of like natural messy look, kind of makes it more believable. Nice shirt. <laughs> but yeah, those two are still the same, they're not in, well actually one of them's in. Um, and of all the villages that I have currently, the koala is still my least favorite. Bob is, uh, you know, being Bob, he's out somewhere. Probably Naruto running. He does that a lot. <laughs> I don't know why, but whoop, I think uh, Mantis just went away. Still got this nice area. Haven't done anything with that yet. And as you might remember, my museum used to be here, but it's not here anymore. I have actually moved it, and we'll get to that in a bit. I actually want to show you around my museum, which is probably the main thing I'm going to do today. Um, because, uh, oh, are you singing? Please. Wait, what song is playing currently? I use this here because uh, they like to dance and sing in the plaza. Nah, not, not singing this time, though, just dancing. Well, that's fine. What you got? What you doing? Ah, uh, didn't I just see you over there, kidders? Uh, I do. I No, I don't. <laughs> Looks like Gulliver is zonked out on the beach again, as usual. Oh, is he? Went over to wake him up, but all I got was a few seconds of sleep talk before he was out again. I didn't even realize. Oh, I should do that. Wait, can I give you something? I'll give you an orange. You want this? Or a butterfly? But I think an orange is best, because it's a nice gift, and plus it doesn't... They don't put it in their house. Sometimes I don't want things in their house, you know. Eat these for days. You know you could just pick them off our trees, right? <laughs> Goldie's moved in. Oh, Goldie's there, eating a sandwich. Oh my god. Elliot, we meet again. I'm trying to get to know the community better. That's why I've been going around asking everyone questions lately. I've read that the right questions can reveal someone's personality. With that in mind. What's your favorite kind of music to listen to? Hmm. Of these, I'm going to say something else. Oh, really? Hmm. 
I am, okay, so my big thing, I actually really like listening to video game OSTs. Video game. Would, would soundtracks or OSTs be? Uh, I'll see if I can fit soundtrack. If not, then. Video game soundtrack. There we go. Did I hear right? Video game soundtrack? That's right. Hell yeah. <laughs> I should have I should have said like OSTs, I think, but you know what? Yeah, no, do it. I honestly I recommend there's quite a lot. I've lately been listening to the River City Girls soundtrack, but that's just because I've been editing a video on it, so. So the park area's had a few upgrades since we last saw it. Mainly because I now have, like, the workings of more relaxation points. These are things you can buy with Nook Miles, which I absolutely love. Oh, it gives you that kind of, like, Japanese street side earth feel, you know? Especially with that pole there. Oh, I don't know. That's just a lovely setting to me. I absolutely love it. And we're going to be uh, setting up a ramp here to be able to go up on the second area. How much have I donated? Oh, that's not too bad. I'll put in a bit more. Might as well. Sure, I'll help out. Why not? Um, we'll do 20k. I don't worry about doing all these things, you know. Some people will put that in, for example, and it's like, oh, 100 and something thousand? I gotta do that today. So I have it tomorrow. And they go full force. And that's fine. Like, I feel like these kind of games you should basically enjoy at your own pace. And, you know, play it how you want to. There's no right way to play a video game. And uh, I'm saying that mainly because, you know, although I poked fun at the idea of time traveling last time, I'm not against the idea because whatever, it's a video game. You can enjoy it yourself. It's, it's fine. That is A-OK -okay to me. But yeah, that's uh, kind of how the park is looking over here. There is something that's like up a ways, but we'll go to that in a moment. Over here, we've got some flowers now, a lamp. I like setting lamps around because it makes it like, gives it a nice look when it's nighttime. Got a personal uh, portrait here. Over here, we have the campsite, which I currently have a villager that I'm not really into so i'm not really going to i don't want another like deer type so i'm not going to let them join and i believe they just leave after a few days or something so that might help my progress a bit in terms of like the current objective <laughs> over here i've actually done something up here just because i thought i'd do something with the space it's communications there's not really much with it. It just looks cool that it's like on the top point and it's like using power to... I don't know. It looks cool. <laughs> so that's all I got. <laughs> and that's uh, basically it in terms of how the island looks uh, now. The wild area has gone crazy. Plus, I have added bamboo now. So let me let me quickly give you a showing over there. Oh yeah, I'm also occasionally I'm going to like try and do some crossbreeding stuff. So I've got pink tulips, which look cool. But I will be working on that soonish. There you go. So yeah, the wild area has gone crazy. Uh, we've got bamboo up there now, which is cool. I'll probably have a, a dedicated section so that I can grow it properly. And my orchard, again, is, is here, but it's all been picked clean, and I'm growing extra... What, what? Peach? No, not peach. I'm growing extra pear trees. So that's, like, awesome. When that's full out, I thought that was a giant fish. <laughs> not gonna lie. So when that's all full, that's gonna look lovely. All right, now let's get into the main area. Hup. There we go. So we have here, which is our town area. And I love the way this place looks so far. So we've got 
this, which is going to be uh, the Able Sisters. That's being built, so that'll be built tomorrow. There's a menu in front of the... Because there's no, like, food place currently, as far as I know. So I can't exactly have the menu in a food shop area, you know? <laughs> that would be nice. Let's have a little look what's going on in here. Ah, toast! I see. Yes, yes. Okay, nice, nice. I'll sell my stuff later. And uh, let's have a little look around the museum. Now, if you've never seen the museum in this game, and you have in previous, my god, is it so different. It is night and day. It is stunning what they've done in this. And I want to show you my fish, because I really, I'm just, I always love the aquarium. I just love aquariums in general. So having this is lovely. Now, there are some fish I haven't caught yet. Uh, I know that you can get a black goldfish as well, and I only have the standard goldfish in there at the moment. But look at all this. Sturgeon in there. The salmon I actually got because I have a friend who it lives in the southern hemisphere. So uh, I can actually just go over there and get some, get some fish that I can't otherwise normally, you know. There's a koi in there, there's a carp in there, there's some good stuff. Really nice. I, I love the the graphics and the detail in this. Nintendo kind of, I don't know, they always impress me. I don't know how, because like, you know, in terms of graphics, you know, they aren't up there. But what they do with what they have and the stylization of things is just, oh, I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. I recently caught that tuna that was last night. Yeah, I caught it last night, and I'm glad I did, because that was eluding me for a while. And then down here we have the big boys. Well, two of the big boys. I'm actually upset with how static the oarfish is. I wish that they would move around a bit more, because the, the big dude, I can't, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, but the big dude at the back... He moves around. I don't know why the, the oarfish is just straight as a board. Unless it has to stay like that. I don't know. But yeah, I love this. I love the way this looks. Go through here. You can even look through if you want. Yeah. Then we have the last section as well. Here we are. Over here we have Screamy Boys, which are the sea butterflies, I believe. <laughs> I call them Screamy Boys because if you catch one and leave it in your hand for a while, they scream. <laughs> I don't actually know what's meant to be in this bit. Because I have not seen anyone that has anything in it, so I don't know. And then I really like this. I really like this thing. Like being able to walk inside and basically be around them. Oh, look. Ah, oh, that's so cool. And I like how they've made it so that if you get one fish, they don't always just be one fish in this, you know? Like, sometimes they'll fill it up with more than just the one to make it seem a bit more lively. That's really nice, too. Yeah, and that's the fishing area. There we go. Let's have a little look at the bugs. The bugs are cool as well. I think I've caught a majority of what I can. The only things I'm thinking of that I can't do yet. Oh, there's a wasp there. The only things I can't do are a ant, because I haven't left anything out yet. Um, or a fly, because I haven't actually caught much trash yet. <laughs> like, that's actually a problem, is that I haven't caught any trash, so getting a, getting a fly has been difficult. I also love that they kind of intermingle the fishing with the, the bugs as well. So I'm wondering, like, if you didn't get the koi fish, would that not appear there? You know? Mantis! He prepares to say hello. Some butterflies flying around. There are some bugs that aren't out, obviously, because it's because it's daytime, I think. Beeder. 
We got the speeder. Um, I was like, I don't know where the tarantula is, but yes, I do. <laughs> he wouldn't be available out in the open, would he? Because otherwise he'd bite anyone that comes in. There we go. We've got, uh, we've got the kind of like roaches. I don't remember what they're called. What are they called? Yeah, wharf roach. And then a hermit crab. Nice. And then we have the tarantula. He's he's in there. He's back there. He's waiting. <laughs> this would be where the ants go. But right now all we have is the uh, mole cricket. Which, if ever you've wondered why there's like a, a cricket sounding thing. Wait, where's the moth? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's uh, never a good sign. Where, where the moth at? Where is the moth? What? He's just gone. Okay, good. Wait, what? <laughs> Did it leave? Is it just gone? <laughs> moth is like, nah, I'm out. No, he's in here somewhere. I don't know. Probably hiding. It's funny. And here we have... Oh, we had the pink one. And we have... Oh, the moth's in there! Oh! And the other things are hiding away. Oh, interesting. Wonder why the moth moved. Don't know. Bizarre, but okay. <gasps> They're all out and about. Oh my god. A ladybird and a snail there. Oh my god, look at these guys. Oh, that's so nice looking. I've only ever really come here at night, I'll admit. So like, seeing them all like this is really cool. That's so cool. I've also got a, uh, you can see the, the green butterfly again. That was another, I think another southern hemisphere thing. But they look really cool. That's so pretty. I love that. That's so good. Right, and now uh, last and uh, probably least until we've gotten it more complete. Run, bug, run. Is the fossils. I've been doing my four a day. So I haven't let up. But I've had a lot of dupes, so. And I don't know how many they're going to be in this. I love the way they, they do this, by the way. Very, very, like, official museum-y kind of deal, you know? Is that a, that's a tarantula? <laughs> Fossilized tarantula? Interesting. Also, I don't know if people know this. Like, I showed this off before by mistake as well. But, um... These blue circle give you a different look. <laughs> Very nice. Look at that. You can see the meteor is about to destroy everyone. Myself included. I love the lighting in this place. Very nice. And then in here we have some stuff. Hell yeah. We're getting there. And there's me. Oh, wait, did the... Wait, what? Oh, that's cool. That lights up. Why does that light up? That's neat, though. I am part of the exhibition. All right, guys, that is my town so far. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I will show you around when I've done more. And thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And tell me, have you been enjoying Animal Crossing so far? And uh, do you have... Okay, so I've had a few people talk about things that they uh, would change or uh, mi are missing from the other games that you wish came back. Um, one thing I would like to change, give me multiple crafting. <laughs> like, I want to craft more than one. Is that a thing you can unlock? I'm not sure. That'd be cool if it is don't know yet um so that that might be a thing that is in it two i am i'm missing certain characters you know i'm missing certain characters that i found in new leaf that were really nice i want Cap'n. where's Cap'n? basically is what i'm trying to say um <laughs> but either way thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed throw us a like if you did and i'll catch you next time take care okay thanks bye